identity, no one knows that factory worker Mike Mouse is secretly the Mouse of Steel. Help somebody, help! <laughs> For the last time, will you give me your factory? No, I'll never turn it over to you. Help, help! Oh, no time for Mighty Mouse. It's that archest of villains, the glove. <laughs> hey, let me go, you finger all four flusher. Mike, speak to me. I've had enough trouble with the both of you. Bad mittens, put the digit dungeon on them. <laughs> you can struggle all you want, Miss Pure Heart. That digit dungeon is impossible to escape from. You mean it's on for good? How will I do my knitting? Only I, the glove, and my twin brother Lefty can remove the digit dungeon. And Lefty got lost in a movie theater years ago. But I could be persuaded to remove it if you hand over the factory to me. <laughs> no, you'll never get my factory. Hey, Pearl, I saw your light and... Run, Scrappy, run! He's seen us! Grab him! <laughs> Wait! Come back, you! What's going on? I'll draw you a picture later. Come on! <laughs> what did you say his name was? The Glove. He's trying to force me to turn my factory over to him so we can make thousands of bad mittens and take over the country. You know, I think I could pull out of this thing. No, it's impossible for us to remove it. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. The Glove said the only other person who could remove the Digit Dungeon was his brother Lefty, but no one knows where he is. Well, if you were a giant Glove, where would you go? Hollywood! Right, so that's where we have to go to find him. Hollywood! And so, our heroes motor their way across the country to Tinseltown in search of the club's missing brother, Lefty. No, oh, I'm sorry, sir, but Lefty hasn't been here for a long time. When did you last see Lefty? Mm, mm, gee, it must have been a couple of years ago. He worked on a couple of karate movies, then he hid overseas. Mm, mm, I'm sorry, but mm, that's all I know. Well, thanks anyway. <laughs> what do we do now, Mike? Well, we can keep looking for Lefty or spend the rest of our lives in a permanent handshake. We've got to be careful, Mike. I've never seen anyone as determined as... <gasps> the glove! I glove, L.A. <laughs> Quick, split up! The Beige Derby. Hmm, I saw this one in a spy movie. It's headed for the record company! Oh, uh, Mighty Mouse picked up the records and saved everyone. Uh, say, we'd better get going. The search for Lefty continues across the vast ocean to sunny Tibet. Psst, Mike. Mike, are you asleep? Not anymore. What is it? Oh, I was wondering about that day in Hollywood. That day when you disappeared all of a sudden? You know anything about that? You've got to swear that you'll never reveal what I'm about to show you to anyone. Cross my heart and hope to fly. 
Mighty Mouse! Shh! Mighty Mouse! My hero! And you've been right here beside me all this time! Remember, Scrappy, you're the only one who knows my secret. That's why we have to find this lefty fellow so Pearl won't suspect me of having superpowers. Well, don't worry about me, Mighty Mouse. I can keep a secret. Just ask anybody. Go back to sleep now, Scrappy. Yeah, sure. Gosh, me and Mighty Mouse. I like the sound of that. The palm reader said that Lefty's hideout isn't far from here. <laughs> With disaster imminent, Mike must take drastic steps to preserve his secret identity. Quick, Mike! We've got to find cover! Grab Scrappy and... Where's Scrappy? Uh, uh, I don't know. He must have flown. I, I mean, run off somewhere. Mighty Mouse. Too bad Scrappy isn't here to see us. Scrappy, Scrappy, where are you? Oh, oh Mike, I think he's gone, gone. Oh, boo. Oh, 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 boo. Oh, oh. There, there. It's a terrible loss, Pearl. But we've got to keep moving and find Lefty. Besides, Scrappy would have wanted it that way. Yes, yes, you're right. <laughs> Club Miami? This has got to be the place. Come on. <laughs> Seedy, isn't it? Lefty has to be here somewhere. We'll just have to wait here and. At last! <laughs> I have you in the palm of me hand, pure heart. There's no escape! <laughs> to save the day! Uh, mighty Mouse! I have had enough of your tricks, club. Now, put them up! And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce one of the greatest ventriloquist acts in the country. Let's hear it for Lefty and Ralpho. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. For our first number, we'd like to... Hey, what's going on? Lefty! Kelsey. Where have you been all these years? Oh, here and here and there, lending a hand. But what about you? You look so different. I don't know, Lefty. After you disappeared, I just turned mean for some reason. Now I feel really bad about it. It's never too late to change, brother. Stick with me and you can turn over a new leaf. Yes, yes, you're right. I can start over. And I'd know just where to begin. I'm truly sorry, Miss Pureheart. Please allow me. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, but what about Scrappy? The avalanche came down and... <gasps> the abominable snowman! Scrappy! 
Oh, let me look at you. Are you okay? Oh, what a brave little mouse. Oh, I feel so much cleaner now. Say, do you remember the dance we used to do as kids? That old number? Why, sure! Yeah. And a one and a two. Oh, did we really used to do this stuff? Oh, yes, yeah. and you always did it with two left feet. <laughs> Ready? Right. Like, yeah. the time. Up the silver ring. Stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fingers are bent. Hands. Right. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Today is a special day in Mouseville, especially for one special little mouse. It's here at last. Nothing can bring a guy down on his birthday. Ah! Hey, you kid! Get back on the street! Get me back my lid, Junior! Boy, some people are just plain grouchy. Mr. Public, how's Mrs. John Q? She's fine. Here you go, Scrappy. Thanks. Say, Mr. Public, do you know what day it is today? Hmm, say, and I almost forgot. You're right, Scrappy. Hey, Millie, get ready. We've got to go to the big cheese day celebration downtown. Mouseville cheese day? It would have to fall on my birthday. Oh, man. oh, what a great day for the cheese dish. Just look at those cheesettes. They look so professional. Huh, yeah, professional cheese. Hey, Scrappy, want to be next? We are taking turns being top dog. Nah, you've seen one cheese, you've seen them all. Hey, Bob, get a load of this next float. It's our friend, Cheese! Oh, wow. oh this is great. Oh, nice. That's all nice. It makes you proud to be a mouse. Whoa. Hey, Mike. Some day, huh? Only comes once a year. I'll say it isn't every day we celebrate our proud rodent food stuff. Gosh. Of all people. I never thought Mike would let me down. Birthday isn't much, but it's all some guys have. Oh, dear up, little fella. It's cheese day, you know. That tears it. They call me Sebby. I tell them jokes, but they ain't happy. Hello there. Yikes. Mind if I join you, sir? Huh? I give up. Who's there? My name's Scrappy. What's yours? What's mine? Why, it's Slappy Rimshot, comic to the bomb. What kind of name is Slappy Rimshot? You kidding? Showbiz. Like a stage name. I don't know how I got it or when, but it fits me like these here gloves. And you tell jokes? Let's hear one. Um, uh, uh, well, not so fast, kid. Uh, jokes gotta be first set up. Uh, you, you can't just tell jokes. You can't? Never. That's always been my, uh, trouble. <laughs> you mean you're a comic who can't get laughs? Ugh. For heaven's sakes, you don't have to broadcast it. Sorry. <laughs> Say, Slappy, I was wondering. Don't hobos ride freight trains all over the country, having fun all the time? Boy, you said it. What great times they are, I'll tell you. Oh, good, because I'd like to come with you on the next train. What? No way. You're just a kid. The open road is no place for little boys. But you said you have great times. And I'm sick of Mouseville. Nobody there cares about me. Today was my birthday. But did anyone in town remember it? No. All they could talk about was cheese. Listen. I'm an orphan. I took care of myself before Mouseville, and I can do it again. What the heck? I can't fight a determined kid. 
But remember to stick close to me, Scrappy. A hobo's life is no party. Well, that's just what I'm used to. No party. Let's go. <gasps> Where did Scrappy go? Nobody's seen him since this morning. This wooden floor makes my back hurt. It's really cold in here. I'm tired. Relax, Scrappy. Not every boxcar is this nice. Back in Mouseville, I was a friend of Mighty Mouse. <laughs> sure, kid, sure. But we can't very well turn back now, can we? Better try to get some sleep. Hey, anybody down there? Who's that? Oh my gosh, it's my old pals! <laughs> Corky Swifty, how are you, babe? And Mace, hey, it's been too long. Hey, hey, you had no. <laughs> hey, Slappy, got yourself a new partner? Him? Why, this is Scrappy. He's decided to become a hobo like us. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Well, Scrappy, sit back. It's showtime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I saw that on television yesterday. Slappy, now it's your turn. Make, Make us, us laugh. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, um, a, a funny thing happened on the way to the. Uh, no, 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 forget that one. Uh, but seriously, folks. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, take my partner here, please. <laughs> He's a friend of Mighty Mouse. What? I think we got it lit, kid. The worst is over. Oh, no! Slappy, are you all right? Just a little weather beaten, that's all. Hey, are we still on the track? Yeah. But it sure got bumpy all of a sudden. I never should have run away from Mouseville. Now we're gonna crash and there's nothing anybody can do. Anybody? Didn't you say you were a friend of Mighty Mouse? Mighty Mouse? Mighty Mouse! Here I come to save the day!
there possibly be a slab of cake for this poor old soul? Happy birthday to Scrappy! Happy birthday to Scrappy! Happy birthday to Scrappy! Because he's such a mouse! Happy birthday! Speech! Gosh, I've never given a speech before. All I want to say is that a guy with friends like you would be a fool to run away from him. Hey, is Tony the Barber here? Good, Tony, scare this guy that works. Hey, cut that stuff out. I haven't had a shave or haircut in 20 years. Listen, everybody, I've been suspecting something all night, and now I'm sure. This fellow sitting next to me is none other than Charles M. Cheesearm, the founder of Cheese Day in Mouseville. I am? Uh, I, I mean, I am! Yep, that's me in the flesh! Can you beat that? I run away from Cheese Day and meet up with the guy who started it! <laughs> Welcome home, Scrappy. 